Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and these are two patients here who have had bilateral buttock injections, and this is a pretty common procedure where the patients will have the buttocks injected into the subcutaneous soft tissues here, and these are little areas of silicone or sometimes hydrogel that are injected in here, and this is not legal in the United States, so it's a pretty common thing to have um, you know, illegal injections done where they will inject sometimes even over-the-counter um, gel like silicone gel you'd use in your bathroom they'll inject right into here and this can be dangerous because you can have reactions to that it can get in the bloodstream even sometimes and even lead to a stroke and to migrate to different parts of the body sometimes you can have an inflammatory response to it but this is just a typical case you have no real problems but she had heard that it can cause problems in the future um, and so she wanted to have it possibly uh, revised or removed and was thinking about even going out of the country to get that done and so these little tiny things are little areas of silicone or hydrogel scattered throughout the buttock region and apparently this was done in just um, a hotel room uh, by just some friend of hers apparently and um, anyway this is what it looks like again this is a pretty common procedure to give some lift and shape to the buttock region and now there's another patient here I'll show you in a minute who has had a complication. So this is again the patient just as a typical look. And we see these pretty commonly when they've had injections and they just want to uh, maybe have uh, things revised and so they come in for pre-surgical planning. They look like little popcorn things all throughout the gluteal regions. Sometimes they go into the uh, fat here, the gluteal muscles um, underneath it may be injected as well. And so now we're going to go to another patient who also has had some injections here, these little areas all throughout. These are the gluteus muscles here, the gluteus maximus muscles, so they inject it into the muscle, into the subcutaneous soft tissues. She has feeling a lot of firmness in the back, and kind of uh, an area of just a rigidity. And then this is a view where we can see that this really dense, bright stuff all throughout the subcutaneous fat. This is fibrosis. This is a, um, a reaction to the uh, silicone and it's a known complication, so there's a fibroblastic reaction. The patient will get uh, thickening and uh, density all throughout the gluteal fat. And again, this is not just the fat. This goes into the underlying gluteus maximus muscles here. And so this is one of the complications I've seen. Many of these um, exams, this is the only real significant complication I've seen. One other one was an infection, and then many of them have just been um, just a, a pre-surgical planning to get a revision. And then in this patient, again, this is uh, one that has this prominent fibroblastic reaction, which is a more rare complication. The patient has also injected, been injected here in the deep perineal fat over here, but it has this big fibroblastic response to the illegal silicone injections. Thank you very much.